Hello everybody, my name is Quags. I hope you're all having a wicked good day today because today we are playing an awesome game known as Factorio. So I saw a couple of YouTubers playing this and I thought I'd give it a try. So it seems pretty interesting. I've been messing around with a couple things, but I guess the main premise is build as much as you can and cultivize and try not to destroy everything because if you look at this map, there apparently is nothing on it that you guys can see, but there's usually these red dots that are enemy bases that you got to avoid. And I guess the purple, I think, is gas from what I know. The, the uh, what do you call it? I guess the orangish red would have to be copper. The black is coal. And the blue is iron. And this little gray thing there, down here, these things, happen to be uh, rocks. Like stone that you can make furnaces and stuff out of. So I've been messing around with those. So I'm not just a complete noob at this. But it seems pretty cool. And you can zoom out completely. We can see stuff. So what happens to be the perfect spot for me, I think, is going to have the copper here, the iron here, and the coal here. Which is just a perfect spawn and some rocks in case. It is very hard to run out of these resources, as you guys will see in this uh, this gameplay, I guess. And if you scroll over, it says the amount over on the right, like 1,530. You'll never run out of that stuff. So, what I really want to do to start off is press E to go to your inventory, and I guess to build myself a pickaxe right from the start, just so I can start mining stuff. Oh, at night, you get a little flashlight. But it's pretty cool. Uh, like I said before, you guys, once you start building your places, you'll see if you push, uh, I think, Alt, I think is what it is, a pollution will show up. This red, like, cloud will show up and show you how much you're polluting the earth. And that's when these bad guys start showing up. I think it's these up here. If you look in the map, the little red dots. They're not, I don't see them yet. But they start showing up. They're aliens. And they'll come attack you and destroy everything you have. Which really, really sucks. But you really don't want it to happen. So what I'm going to start to do is I'm going to right-click this and start mining it. So, yeah. See how it says on the right? It starts going down a mount. So you can practically never run out of this but what the point is is you're mining in the beginning doing stuff yourself and then you start automating stuff so you never ever have to deal with it again which is pretty damn awesome so yeah i thought it'd be fun to play um uh, my friend i'm down in atlanta right now my friend introduced it to me and um yeah i thought it'd be fun to play and try out with you guys so you guys can see how it all works so i don't want copper to cultivate first i think i'm gonna go with the iron first so if i push r to rotate which i did not know in the beginning um, I want to take my furnace and I'm going to, I think, can you attach it right to the edge of that? I don't think you can. Can you? I think you might be able to. Uh, the coal's in the woods here. Yep, there it is. There we go. I got to clear out some of these trees so I can get to the wood. But um, yeah, it's pretty fun so far. So you put the coal into the stuff to get the energy in the beginning and then you can use steam and then solar and wind. It's pretty cool. You just gotta, it's pretty much you're building a society for yourself, building armor and weapons and destroy the aliens who attack you. But it's pretty much see how, see how far you can get. And I think you can build a spaceship or a rocket to leave. I'm not sure exactly how you win this. But uh, if we get that far, then cool, cool, we, we do it. But uh, I'm not sure exactly how far we're gonna go with this. But as of right now, it seems pretty fun. So let's throw some here. And then in here, we throw it here. There we go. Oh, so you can. If you put them right next to each other, it goes right in, which is absolutely awesome. And you start getting iron plate, which is cool. Uh, I'm going to go over here and collect some rock. Yep. So what I'm going to do is collect another furnace, and I'm going to start putting it onto the copper so I can get that going. And then I'm going to try to get another drill for the copper and the, the coal so I can start getting that instead of having to mine it all myself. So I should be able to get two here. The drill is right here, so I need I, I need a lot of iron. So hopefully this starts building up. Yeah, oh, it's building up really quick. So we need one of these. If you see, it builds it all for you. So you don't have to go and do each individual one, then do the big one. If you just click on the big one, it makes it for you, which is beautiful. We're going to do it this direction. Okay. And we can make ourselves a furnace. I'm going to throw that there. Okay. Got to go get some more coal. Let's grab this, though. Yep. And we can get another drill. Yes. And another furnace. Nice. Okay. So... Let's chop down this tree, actually. Yeah, we're gonna have a hell of a time chopping down these trees. I'll probably do it in my own time, just so you guys don't have to watch. But holy good lord, this is gonna take literally forever. I just wanna get to the coal. I don't wanna cut too much down, but at least enough to get, like, space so I can uh, build conveyor belts and stuff to get this stuff out of here. Oh man, but in the beginning it can go pretty quick if you know what you're doing since I've been playing a little bit just to get the hands of things Like I've seen people play it so I understood how it works But um, doing it myself was actually a lot harder than I thought 
So, let's go over here. How much is in here? We're going to get more coal for that. But we don't have to do it ourselves. We can use our handy dandy... Actually, we don't even need a furnace. I don't know why I was thinking we need a furnace. We need a chest, which is here. We'll make an iron one, just for the hell of it. Put that there. We need to get some coal just for the coal. My good lord. Imagine that. You gotta get coal for the coal. My good... I, ugh, this is awful. Alright, let's grab some coal here. I'm gonna throw it in there. And hopefully it goes in here. Is it working? Is it not working? No, it's not going in. Why are you not working? Can I put you higher? Yeah, there we go. I guess, I guess that makes more sense. Uh, whatever. Whatever floats the boat, I guess. Okay, so now that's going to fill with that. Alright, so now we got some stuff automating. We should probably get the copper going in a second. Uh, we need more coal for that. We need more coal up there. We need the, Pretty much in the beginning, it's pretty much hell trying to get coal for everything. But it's, it's fun once you get the hang of things, once you start actually getting it going. So... Um, there we go. That can start smelting. So in the furnace, is the, it's pretty cool. It actually stays up to 100, I'm pretty sure. It stays till. And then you can start building some pretty cool stuff. Uh, so we want a steam engine. We want to get this going first. I want to get the steam going so I don't have to really rely too much on the coal. So we need a boiler and a steam engine. Which we can surprisingly make already. That's pretty awesome. Alright, that's already off. We're going to turn that back on. We need iron, I think, is the most needed resource in this game i think i that's what i've noticed iron is like super super needed um i'm gonna need more for this furnace though there we go throw it in all in there we're gonna want some more for this coal here because coal is all actually coal is pretty much needed too um the good thing there's water around me everywhere though that's a pretty awesome thing so if i zoom out where's the best place i guess right here is gonna be a good place to do it so we're going to want, oh no, we need a pump first. We need the offshore pump, which uses the electronics, which uses copper. Yeah, we need copper and iron plating. Okay. Ah, the way up here. I wish these resources were closer, but you know, it's, it's how you spawn. You know, you spawn with what you got and you got to work with what you got. So if we now make the pump, there we go. We only need one. By the way, you right click it, you make a bunch. So I would suggest left clicking because it makes one at a time. All right, now we got the pump, so now we can slap it on here, and like that, put the, this thing, the boiler, and then we can put this. I want to make one more boiler, actually. We need a f stone furnace. Oh, we have no stone. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Ah, uh, I I've, I've actually haven't used the drill for the stone, which I think is going to be pretty helpful to build. I think you build walls and stuff. I remember seeing that correctly in other people's videos. So I need one furnace. Oh, actually, I didn't have to do that. I could just click that. Yep, there we go. All right, we get out of that. Push one and slap that there. So now we're going to have to power those with coal. All right, so let's collect this. So pretty much for this episode, I kind of want to just get the basics done. I want things to be enough that I can do more in the future. If I it, Like, obviously I'm going to, but I don't have to worry. I, I'll, I'll have stuff ready when I need it. But um, that's pretty much what I really want to get going for this. So I'm going to need more here. Throw some there. That's all fine. This one needs it big time. We're going to throw four here. Then we'll go in here and throw four there. Okay, cool. So as long as you keep stuff going, it's pretty much the main thing in the beginning. And getting coal. Coal is a huge thing. So once you get the electricity to the coal, it literally will power everything. You can get so much, and then you can start putting it in stuff, and it goes, oh, crap, I didn't get coal for that. The whole reason. And you can get you just get stuff going a lot faster once you have a lot of coal getting, like, stacked and ready. Okay, we got 12, 6 on each, and we should have power, and then we can start building poles. Yeah, these things. So let's start building a few now. There we go. We'll spam a bunch of those. All right. Now we go over here. We want to fill these up. So we put 6 in here, and 6 there. And there's no electricity yet because we gotta have this. All right, so now we got little telephone poles. So if we slap this here, actually we don't need it that close, I don't think. If we slap it here, and then come on here. How far? To here. Okay. How far there? This is the worst part. You have to figure out like how far the wire can go. There we go. I just want to get it over to the coal. 
So when we need it, there we go. Cool. So once we get the electricity going through there, we should be all set. But at the moment, I just want to get the basic stuff here. So we got that. We got a lot of freaking iron already over here. Coal. Oh, we got the copper. Jesus. I almost said coal. Okay, coal's over here. Grab some more here. 21. Beautiful. We got some three here. Add some there. Okie dokie. How's this one doing? We definitely need more here. Okay. How's the furnace? Uh, we'll add a few more. And then we got seven, which I can just plop up here. Yeah, oh my god, it runs out so fast up here. Literally, this is the worst one. It just goes so quickly. Over here. Bam. All right. Okie dokie. Basic stuff getting ready. So what else can we get now? We can get conveyor belts, copper wire. We can get another steam engine, so we got even more power. We should probably do that. And we can get another boiler, but we need more stone. It's always freaking stone. It's surprising though. Like in the beginning, I always forget I need stone. It's a, oh shoot, I need a pickaxe. There we go. And I say we go. Now we we'll go faster. I always forget stone's actually quite important when you have to make furnaces because a lot actually uses furnaces to then craft other things. But um yeah. So I know this is an old game. You guys might find it quite boring, but I find it really interesting. I love survival games, so this is pretty much home to me. I know it's a lot more than, like, look, this is literally a bunch of stuff we can make. It's all technology you have to learn and then upgrade. It's it's it literally intense. Like, this last one is a rocket silo, which I don't know if that's nuking the place or leave. I have no idea what it is. Why is this one saying it's not on? Why? Why is that not working? We have the coal. We have that. We have the offshore pump. Why are you not working? Hello? Oh, I think we need three. I think we need three boilers. Let's try this. Okay, so if we have three, and we slap this one here. Oh no, we gotta fill this one now? Oh, I, don't, I wanna click on it. Oh no, I need coal. Let's go grab some coal. Uh, I'm not sure why that's not powering. I'm pretty sure you need, I don't know. Let's check. If we fill that one with coal, I think we should be okay. Um, what would I be missing? Offshore pump, we got the boiler, we got the steam engine. Um, we have the poles. No, that should be working. Let's fill this one and see if it hopefully works. No. Why are you being a jerk? Bro, you're supposed to be working for me. No, you're not, you're not working. Did I not hook something up right? Is none of this hooked up? Let's try something. If I try moving this, pick that up. Okay, so I gotta put this. Oh, I'm in the way. No, I'm not. Um, okay, we'll try this again then. Let's put the boilers down. Okay. Are they, oh, are these facing the wrong way? Are they supposed to be facing a certain way? No, that's how they're supposed to face. And then we put the steam thing there. Yeah, okay. And now we put a telephone pole here. If I can place it correctly. So now we power these. Eh, eh. There. Let's power this. That should be working. Why are you not working, sir? Um, 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 um. I think it's these. Like, are they facing the wrong way or something? Uh, I don't know. What's what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? I need. Okay. No, they have to face that way. I'm really not sure what why that's not working. I was literally just doing it earlier. Why is it not working? I might have to go check it and see what, what, what I'm doing wrong. So I'm very confused why this isn't working. So I was looking at my other game and it, it was it's working fine. Like it's exactly what I have in the other one, but for some reason it's just not working this time. It's very, very weird. I don't know, I don't know what's going on. This would be powering everything, but if I attach these, and then I attach this. It should be fine. It should be working. This should be fine. It's connected to power. That's that's what I'm not understanding. Once I add the coal, it should be okay. And for some reason, it's not working for me. Like, even that amount of coal should work. But yet, it's not. Why aren't you working? Performance is fine. It has water. It's just not... Fire, resistance, I, I don't, I don't know what's going on, why it's not flowing. 
Like the fire is even stopped because this thing, I don't know if it's connected or not. No. That's not working there. That doesn't work there. It's when you put it here, it connects correctly. It just, I don't know what's going on. I don't know why this is not working. Work with me, please. Make me look good. See, and then it connects, it connects. But it's saying the power is not sufficient. Why, sir? Why is this not working? Do I need another? That would be insane. Yeah, I don't think it's that. Maybe less? I don't think so. No, I don't I don't know what it is. I have no idea why that's not working. Uh, I'll have to see why in a bit. But uh anyways, so I guess uh, you guys aren't going to see that in this video. I'll fix it later so then you guys can see more. But anyways, so this is pretty much the basis of the game where you just have to pretty much farm stuff and see how far you can get. And yeah, you can die very, very quickly in this game. Still don't see any red, but if you push alt, you can start to see this red cloud that's appearing. This cloud is pollution. And because of the pollution, these enemies will come and kill me. I don't see any on the map right now, so I'm assuming I'm going to be able to get a lot of pollution out, which is <laughs> sounds freaking awful. But you're able to uh, make a lot more without them being there to be a nuisance. So that's pretty awesome and saves me a hell of a lot of time. So um, I guess that's going to have to do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please hit that like button and comment below. If you do know or have, know this game, please explain or please help me understand why this damn thing is not working. These cables are here. They're all connected. But for some reason, it's not powering. I don't know why. You need only this to connect it. But it's just not powering. It's like frozen here. And it's not... I don't I don't get it. I seriously don't understand that. I checked out my other one and it's exactly like this. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this, hit that like button. Subscribe if you have not already. I really appreciate all of you who are still here to help me. I'm going to try to automate things in the next one. If you guys want to see it, that is. And yeah. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you, and goodbye. See you!